the Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, in Romans chapter 12, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your what? Your mind. And I'm going to leave you with that word. It says it all. Get in the word. Renew your mind. Get in God's face. Renew your mind. Where your mind is, your life will follow. Have the mind of Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. I've had a lot of experiences where, you know, the Lord has allowed somebody, I didn't even know, to just walk up and start cussing me out. For Woo! Reason. Mm. And, and threaten me and everything. Now, I had my firearm on me, right? I could have. Now, see, thank you, Lord. That's a good example. I have, my, I have a 357 Magnum on me. When this strange dude walked up to me, some um, guy, gang member uh, related, looked like he was in a gang, and um, he, he asked me, what the F are you looking at? And the Lord told me, do not engage. I remember hearing the Holy Spirit say that, do not engage. And so I just kept on, you know, doing what I was doing, looking for what I was looking for in the store. And he, he started talking about, and you look at me like that again, I'll F you up and this and that and the other. Now, like I said, I had a firearm in, the, in my, in my, in my, on me. He, he couldn't see it. It was concealed. And I could have been like, all right, fool, you want, you want, you want some smoke? I can give you some smoke. You know, I can end, end you today. I could have went there. I could have went there. I, I really could have because I had it. It was loaded, ready to go. But the Lord told me, do not engage. And it was the hardest thing because I knew I had an upper hand on this dude. But the Lord told me, see, that's where you learn how you submit and you resist. Even though I could have blew his head off, the Lord told me, do not engage. Let it go. And I learned a lesson that day, you know. And even though I felt like, oh, he's punking me. He's, it looks like I'm scared or I'm, I'm, I'm a punk. And the Lord said to me, it's better to obey because that guy wasn't worth you going to jail, okay? That's what the devil was doing, setting you up, trying to steal your freedom. So when you were like, your anger, your temper, your ego, your pride can get you put in jail or worse. So that was very powerful. Thank you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hi, Sasha. How you doing, babe? Hey, I'm doing fine. I just wanted to say I really enjoyed that message, and it was an on-time word for me also, because recently, and like, just currently, the Lord has been showing me more and more how I've been submitting to, like, the lies of the devil unknowingly, like, unknowingly, and even just my emotions. I was just praying so recently, and I told somebody yesterday, it was this girl, she's like, my age, and I met her like over YouTube because she was saying how she was struggling also, and her struggle sounded like mine. Yeah. So I gave her my number, and we had got in contact, and I just believe that that is the Lord working with us, and we just have like the same thing going on right now, and I've just been encouraging her, she's been encouraging me, and I just told her yesterday, I said, we have to deny our feelings sometimes, and I was like, um... Our feelings just fluctuate, and our hearts are deceitful at times, and we just can't trust in our feelings because we were saying how we let our feelings dictate our faith sometimes, um, and our faith in Christ, and so I think just encouraging her that our feelings are going to change and stuff, but we just got to hold firm and stand on the Word of God, and I just thank you so much for that message because it really just, I just continue to get reminded almost daily that the devil is constantly after you from by the time you wake up and when you go to sleep, because you can attach your dreams too. Mm -hmm. So I've just been constantly getting reminded that the devil is after you. He desires to sift you with wheat, and he just wants to have you. But you just have to go against it, and it's so hard. It's so hard. But I just try to stay strong. So I just thank you so much for that word. Thank you. That that was powerful too. Can I put that on tape? Amen. Yes. Okay. Great. 